Hi, I'm Phil Steele, and the other day this arrived in my mailbox. This is the prototype of something called a cat eye pop-up flash reflector, and it was sent to me by a young inventor who created this tinkering around in his garage, a guy by the name of Eric Eckstein, and he sent it to me to test out. And I gotta tell you, I love this thing, and I'm gonna show you why. Now first, what is the problem that this device is designed to solve? Now if you have a digital SLR with a pop-up flash, you probably know that the quality of light from this flash is not the best light in the world. In fact, it's possibly the worst light in the world. It's straight on along the lens axis, so it makes everything look flat and washed out and harsh, and the light bounces straight back at the lens and makes hot spots. It's pretty much the worst light you can get in photography. Now there are different solutions to this. Of course, the ultimate thing is to take a off-camera flash or some kind of off-camera light coming in from another angle. Now you can do that and I have a whole course on my site describing how to do that if you're interested in that you can check that out but that's also a complicated and expensive solution. There are other solutions. The second best thing to do is to take a flash like this and put it on the hot shoe of your camera and tilt it so it's pointed up at the ceiling and then it's bouncing light off of a ceiling or off of a wall or something onto your subject. It makes much more flattering light. The only downside to that is these flashes cost a minimum of a couple hundred bucks a piece and it's as heavy as a brick on your camera. So this is where a device like the cat eye comes in and saves the day. So the cat eye is just designed to interrupt the beam from the built-in flash and bounce it off a ceiling and you can just slip it in to the hot shoe of your flash like this and it's mounted on your camera. It's that easy, and when it's in that position, when you fire, the light hits that, goes up, bounces off a ceiling, and hits your subject. Now, of course, this doesn't work if you're outdoors. It doesn't work if you have a black ceiling, but a lot of the time we're in shooting situations where we have a white or light-colored ceiling or wall or something near us that the light can bounce off of and go hit the subject. Now, let me show you how well this thing really works. So here's a photo of Julie taken with a regular pop-up flash on the camera, and as always, it's pretty unflattering light. You know, the light's bouncing straight back along the lens axis, so it flattens everything out, and it looks kind of harsh, and kind of has hot spots. Now compare that to the fo same photo taken with the cat eye, and it's bouncing the light off the ceiling, and as you can see, with the light coming from a better angle and from a, a bigger apparent source on the ceiling, it makes much more flattering light, and when you put them side by side, you can really see the difference. Now just as another quick comparison, here's another photo of Julie where you can see an actual hot spot glaring on the wall in the photo taken with the pop-up flash. And in the cat eye photo, you don't see that hot spot at all because the light's coming from a better angle. Of course, this is not just for taking pictures of people. You can take pictures of anything. You can shoot objects. Suppose you have a little wire and bead sculpture of a monkey that you need to sell on eBay like most of us do. Well, you can shoot it with the regular built-in pop-up flash on your camera and it'll look like a cheap little piece of junk or you can shoot it with a cat eye, and as you can see, now it looks like a museum quality piece of art. So I think you can see why I love this little thing. Now of course the cat eye is not the first flash deflecting device ever to come along. I've seen a similar thing called a light scoop that's been around for a while, but I'll tell you why I like the cat eye better. Now first of all, it only costs half as much as something like the light scoop. And second of all, it's almost indestructible. I mean, you can, you can bend it like that, and it's almost impossible to break this thing. Third, it's really uh, flat thin, you can slide it into a camera bag beside a lens that takes up almost no space. Or you can put it in a pocket without getting strange looks from the ladies. Uh, it's also a handy mirror. How many times you've been in the field and you need a mirror for your model to touch up her makeup and there's nothing around? This thing's a great little mirror. I suppose even if you're lost in the wilderness, you could use it to signal a search and rescue plane. But seriously, the thing I love most about this is that it's not the product of some big photo gear manufacturing company. This is something that was just invented by a regular dude all right, a regular dude with an aerospace engineering degree, but still a regular dude tinkering in his garage trying to solve a problem that we all have. And he nailed it. And I love that kind of ingenuity, and I think it's worth rewarding. So right now I'm sure there's a Chinese factory worker somewhere watching this video and mapping out the specs of this thing to make a knockoff version. But if I were you, I would buy it from the guy who invented it. So I'm going to put a link to his Amazon page down below this video. I'll talk to you soon.